All right, Marvel's Ga Guardians of the Galaxy. Have you seen any of these? Oh, yeah. Yeah? I love them. I might not see this last one. I heard it ends a little depressing. Either way, the third <laughs> one fought off all competitors to stay in first place during its second week in theaters. The MCU Adventure scored 60.5 million bringing its two-week domestic total to $213.2 million. The Super Mario Brothers movie held on to second place this weekend, adding another $13 million to its now $536 million domestic box office haul. Book Club, the next chapter, opened in third place with $6.5 million, less than half of what the original Book Club opened to in 2018, and that is all according to The Hollywood Reporter. Evil Dead Rise dropped from third to fourth with 3.7 million. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret, slipping from fourth to fifth place this weekend on ticket sales of $2.5 million. And we'd like to wish a very happy birthday to my co-anchor. Oh. Max. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. I appreciate that. You share this birthday with the world's oldest dog. So, honestly, we both just turned 31 years old. <laughs> love how that love works that. out. So, Portuguese pup, Bobby, love it, or Bobby, I'm going to call him Bobby for this. His birthday not only makes him the oldest living dog, but the oldest canine ever recorded. Bobby's family throwing him a birthday just on Saturday. His owner says the secret to Bobby's longevity is the calm, peaceful environment that Southern Portugal oh. offers. If you're wondering, Bobby is a purebred Raffier du Alentejo, which is, I think, a breed of Portuguese dog that I just mutilated its name. It is trained to guard livestock. You know what, Southern Portugal sounds fantastic. Um, what, I, what is, I'd try it. Was it dog year seven years to every human mm -hmm. year? All right, so seven times, it's like 200 and some, some years old. 31 years old today. I know, and I get to hang out not only with you, but also Mike Oserhage who joined us this weekend. Hey, you need to come down uh, for your birthday because we got a little bit of food out here for you too. And we've got, got some great deals as well, folks. Gonna tell you all about that. It is National Barbecue Day Eve, and we have got the expert on the show, Sal Ramos Jr. from 2M Smokehouse. So if somebody wants to do a little barbecuing at home, you need some good wood, right, to smoke it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in post oak, and I think that post oak is the best wood you can use for a lot live of, heritage. A lot of people think mesquite. Yeah, well, you know, we're, we're more south Texas, so a lot of people are more uh, prone to mesquite. We grow up with it. But for something long term, maybe for grilling, mesquite's perfect. But okay. something long term, you're looking at post oak. All right, if you need some great tips, Beef Love and Texans is here because you don't need to be afraid of that brisket. And uh, Shailene's got some great ideas for us. Ribs versus uh, bis uh, brisket. What do you think? That's our social question today. And Christina Samano from Feliz Modern Ribs Brisket. I'm a brisket person. Okay, we got some great uh, <laughs> gifts for the grads, right? Yes, so we have a toolkit here, something that everybody needs that you don't know you need, and we have some gift cards, bags. Lots of fun stuff and some more great deals coming up and a whole lot more on SA Live. So we're seeing a break in the storms around San Antonio right now, but I do want to say that later on in the afternoon, there will be a few more thunderstorms around San Antonio. Right now, hearing thunder, seeing lightning out in Kerrville, Lost Maples, Lakey, and then especially out west in Del Rio right now, it is pouring in Del Rio. Lots of lightning as well out there. We're not concerned about severe weather, no severe weather threat, just uh, some locally heavy rainfall and flashes of lightning. So just be careful this afternoon. Check the radar before you leave or go anywhere. Tomorrow, 86 for the high, only isolated rain in the afternoon, a lot less coverage than today. Then we see the tap turn off. Temperatures rise to near 90 by Friday. Over the weekend, and right now it looks like only isolated rain, but continue to keep check back in with us. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you for joining us for the news at noon as well. Guess what starts right now? Your birthday party. Birthday party at SA Live, because apparently we get to eat <laughs> yes. 2M. I'm very excited about this. Hi, Mike. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Hello, Max, and hello, Ursula. Have you figured out what it was we were tasting in that shot about a half an hour ago. It is pork belly, oh my goodness gracious. And I'll tell you what, it is a thousand times tastier than it even looks and it looks delicious out there. Good afternoon everyone, I'm Mike Oster. Hey, Fiona is off today. Okay, we are not talking about pork belly, but it is National Barbecue Day Eve. And so with beef barbecue and grilling and all that, what do you pick? Brisket, ribs. 
Any, any takers out there, brisket ribs, favorites? Ribs, brisket, everybody, yeah. As long as it's there on your plate, that's fine with us. But let us know what you like the best between those two of them, and we hope to have your answers just a little bit later on in the show. Well, like we're saying, tomorrow is National Barbecue Day, but here in Texas, and at SA Live, we start celebrating early, of course, and who better to celebrate with than two-time James Beard finalist Pitmaster, Chef Isal Ramos Jr., owner and Pitmaster of 2M Smokehouse, is here with the secrets of great grilling and barbecuing and welcome sir thank you very much thank you for having happy me. happy national barbecue day a day early happy happy national barbecue day how do you all celebrate at 2m smokehouse um well cooking barbecue right okay um, that makes sense uh, <laughs> unfortunately no no fortunately but um yeah uh, pretty much uh that's it uh, we got we got some pork belly for for you here today and and, and that is because a lot of people think of barbecue as just beef but anything that you smoke or stick on the grill is considered barbecue right yes um yes uh everything's subjective right so okay. it's like uh we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do pork belly and pork belly is considered barbecue i, I think it is i think there's more to barbecue than just pork ribs sausage and ribs and pork belly I mean, is basically bacon that's unsliced right that's unsliced and uncured okay um that's that's all it is it's just and and it's delicious it's it's got a ton of great fat it's got a ton of great meat um it's very very well marbled and um, the pork that we get is, is really, really good. So. And, and somebody could buy one of these at the grocery store. How would you go to prepare it? Kind of like you would uh, beef, if you're going to be smoking that or putting it on the grill? Yeah, it's, it and... it's, it, there's really nothing to it. Um, you, go, you go to a grocery store, you go to your butcher, uh, you're going to get a full slab of belly, right? So it'll be about, be about this big. And what I like to do at the restaurant is, is I'll cut it in fours, and okay. we cook it that way. It's, uh, it's, it's a lot better. And then season it with what? So at the, re so at the restaurant, we're just going to go ahead. We have a pork belly right here. Um, and our pork belly, we like to we drizzle it with some orange sauce that we make in-house. Okay. So I like to coat it a little bit with the orange sauce, just as, use it as a binder. And then uh, right here, this is just our house seasoning. It is just salt, pepper, some cumin, a little bit of Larry's, and uh, onion powder. That's it? That's all it is. Okay. And do you just let that have to, you have to let it sit there for a while on that, or you can put um, it right if on the If you're, if you're busy, then? you know, for the people at home, if you're busy and you got other stuff to do, you could definitely season your meat ahead of time, mm -hmm. and you just let it sit there. Um, Nothing, nothing major is going to happen. It's going to pull some moisture out. That's about it, but nothing too, nothing too crazy. And then like any other type of barbecuing, low and slow if you're going to be smoking it, right? Yeah, so the nice thing about pork is uh, pork is more forgiving. So you can, you can go a little hotter with pork. Um, okay. For people at home, I would say if you have a small cooker, maybe something two feet, or, 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 or smaller, uh, you want to go as low as possible, right? Because it's a lot smaller, so it'll get a lot hotter in there. Um, for anybody maybe four feet or bigger, you're looking at maybe about 275, and you'll be, you'll be fine. Okay, James Beard, two-time finalist. I mean, that, that, that's as good as it, as it gets. What's your secret? I, cooking great food. Where'd you learn how to cook? Um, my backyard uh, with, with, with my old man. Um, after a while, I just kind of started taking over the reins and stuff. Yeah. And uh, you, know, you know how it goes. Uh, your old man starts, starts having a little too much fun with your uncles and stuff starts getting a little too charming. <laughs> and you take over the, the, the smoker then, So right? I started taking over the smoker. Now, if somebody wanted to do this at home, and because you smoke these and briskets and everything else for hours and hours and Correct. hours, you, you basically, how long do you do when you, when you smoke a brisket? So at the restaurant, we're looking at anywhere from 12 to 16 hours, just just depending on what time they went on, how the weather is, what what temperature we're running, and things like that. Okay, but at home, if somebody didn't want to stand out there 12 to 16 hours by the grill, they could do it just a little bit, maybe finish it off in the oven, right? Absolutely. Um, anything anything in barbecue can be par cooked. Um, if if you need that smoke flavor to it, whether it be a, a brisket, a belly, or a rack of, or, or a rack of pork ribs, uh, you can always put it on the pit for a couple hours, just get the color and the smoke that you need, finish it off in your oven. Okay. Now to make and this goes into a sandwich. Which the, the pork belly yes, does? yes, it does. Now, for people that live in apartments, maybe or don't have okay. barbecue pits or don't like to, a pork belly is perfect. You season it with whatever seasoning you like, mm -hmm. um, and you pop it in your oven, and it comes out great. Ooh, and then what goes on top of that? So this is our this is our house made orange sauce. Yeah, and we just like to drizzle it a little bit with that. Oh. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah, maybe I should have got so the squeeze bottle. How many briskets do you go through in, in one smoking session? So. On a, on a good week, you're looking at maybe 30 to 35 a day. Uh, Thursdays wow. usually, usually set the tone. So we'd like to start off with something a little smaller, maybe 25, uh, and then go from there. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. And, oh, here we go. We have to taste it. So, oh. oh, my gosh. That is so good. A lot of people are worried about pork drying out, but 
How do you prevent it from drying out? Um, don't don't overcook it, right? Mm -hmm. So. Um, Pork, I like to, especially pork belly, um, you can you can cook it upwards, like almost like a brisket. You can take it to, to low 200s, right? Um, I like pulling our pork belly out at 195. Mm -hmm. um, I, think, I think that's perfect. I let it rest for 30 minutes to an hour, depending on what the weather's like or what the ambient air is like in, in the room. Okay. And then from there, you slice it up and enjoy. And you have got a deal coming up for SALI viewers right now, right? I do. Um, for every, for so on Thursdays and Fridays is the only days that we serve pork belly. So whoever right. watches the segment, if they come in and they say they saw us on this segment, they'll get 10% off uh, this week, Thursday and Friday, on all the pork belly that they Fantastic. Where are you located? We are located at 2731 South WW White Road. And going to open up in the second location? We're opening up. We're, yes, we're opening up another barbecue restaurant in Castroville, and it's looking like uh, September. Okay. Maybe mid September. It'll and be if, up and going. And if you want to endear yourself to him, start quoting lines from Star Wars movies or something like that, right? So. <laughs> Do, do your best Yoda impersonation. <laughs> so anyway, if you'd like more information. I am a fan. I am a fan. <laughs> a lot of people are. If you'd like more information, and don't forget, you saw uh, 2M, say you saw 2M Smokehouse on SA Live, and you get 10% off this Thursday and Friday when they do the pork belly. Obviously, for more information, go to SALive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you very much, Thank sir. you so much for having me. I didn't have, uh, ribs or brisket? Um, I love cooking brisket. I love eating ribs. Okay, I'll go with that. I'll take anything. So, all right, switching gears. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and one woman in town has gone from owning a comedy club to becoming a life coach. Her goal is to help people find positive positivity, pardon me, in their lives. And our Jen Tobias Trusky went to see her and what her practice is all about. Take a look. I was going through so many emotional things that I couldn't process and I knew that I had to heal and during my healing journey and how powerful my healing was for myself, I knew I had to share this with other people and this became my mission, my life purpose and something in my soul that I just have to help other people with. Marsha Mahaffey is a life coach and healer. Her goal through her sessions is to uplift and empower people through a practice called Access Bars, which is used as a tool by wellness practitioners, mental health professionals, and more. Specifically, I really love this, but I work, I have three different certifications in energy work, and I kind of use them all together. So specifically speaking about Access Bars, is I touch different meridians, mainly on your face and your head that are connected to different emotions. So some of those emotions might be anger, some of them might be grief, some of them might be joy. And I release the dense energy in those different meridians over a meditation and lightly touching those parts of people's body. And what exactly I do is usually a person holds lighter and dark energy. And sometimes that darker energy, and it doesn't necessarily mean something evil, it just means something more dense and heavy, which allows people to feel a little bit more tired, they'll get in, uh, a little bit angry faster. Um, if they're going through grief, they'll feel very heavy in the heart area. And what I do is I introduce a lighter energy into the body to cancel that out. So the client will feel happier, they'll feel their emotions will actually clear out in a lot of ways as well. The reviews speak for themselves. Many of Mahaffey's clients say they feel better. So. How does it work? And it's usually very relaxing. People usually fall asleep during the, the session and um, they feel like their thoughts are actually cleared out. So there'll be an emptiness of just feeling like you're in more of in a meditative state even after the session and it helps you to feel happier. While Marsha is the expert at access bars, she's encouraging anyone to try meditation to help clear your mind. And I, I feel like that's one of the most asked questions people I always introduce people into meditation and they're like I don't know how to meditate and meditate is just basically not thinking about the future and not thinking about the past but being in the present moment so it is showing them how to do it but you don't necessarily have to sit in meditation to get the same effects you can do it in the shower while walking while cooking as long as you're just in the present moment Mahaffey tells me this practice is her calling before the
this journey, she owned a comedy club, and she admits she was holding on to negative energy from her past traumatic experiences. It was her sick and injured dog who helped her realize her healing gift. One day, he fell off my really high bed, and I panicked. My heart was absolutely broken, and the first thought was to pray over him and grab his his leg that was dislocated and I just focused all my energy into his little leg while he was screaming and crying and eventually he stopped crying and he was able to walk and I didn't know then I was a healer, but looking back on it now, I know that's exactly what I did. It's been a year and a half, and I've done over 100 healings in that time. People are always in awe after a session, and never ever have people just say, oh, I'm good, and they walk out, they feel happier, they feel lighter, and they feel more motivated about starting their new life. For more information on I Love Me, Life Coach and Healer, head to essaylive.com, click the As Seen on Essay Live tab or scan that QR code on your screen. For Resi Live, I'm Jen Tobias Dresky. And Marsha's offering $25 off first-time clients to try a session if you mention SA Live. And we, of course, have her information, as Jen mentioned, on SALive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead on SA Live. It is graduation season from high school to college. This local shop has something for everyone getting ready for that next phase in their life. Plus, hit the gym for free, yeah, free all summer long. See if you can take advantage of this great offer. It's our deal of the day. But first, you plan to cook out for National Barbecue Day or just getting ready for summer? We've got some tips from a grilling pro on how to make sure you nail your brisket. That's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. It's always a good time for barbecue, but for National Barbecue Day, we need to make sure we do it right. Yes, and the person that knows everything there is to know about succulent beef, Shady McNeil from Beef Love of Texas is here. We are doing a brisket today. And yeah. welcome, first of all. Yeah, yes. it's great to be here. It's brisket awesome. 101. People talk about brisket, and it's like you have gone to brisket school and, and this and that. I would never touch one of those things. No, you know so. what? A lot of us are super intimidated yeah. to make a brisket, but we're in Texas, and it's National Barbecue Day, and we've got to learn how to make a brisket. So what I want to do is break it down and make it really easy. You don't have to be a pit master okay. to make the perfect brisket. Beef-loving Texans got your back. So let's talk about selecting the brisket, because that can be intimidating when you walk up to the meat case and yes. you see this huge cut of beef, $35, and it might be like, how do I know how to prepare this? So a couple of tips when you're picking your brisket, you want to look for the most consistent uniform size. That way it's going to cook evenly, evenly when you do put it on your grill. I like to pick up these super trim so they take off the extra fat, you're not paying for that, and then you, you uh, lose less whenever you're cooking it down. This brisket here is seven pounds, it's going to cook about, serve about 20 people. So for $35, Five dollars. That's, that's less than two dollars a serving. That's, that's, that's great, great way to do it. So selecting it. Now a lot of people talk about. Okay, I've got the smoker grill, and I've been out there since <laughs> last night, Monday. Yeah, <laughs> watching this thing. I don't want to do that. And that, you know, that's really fun. It can make you feel really good. Kind of <laughs> Now seasoning it, you can season it anyway. Put your signature on with seasoning. We've got all kinds of great ways. But that's what you're getting at, Mike, is you do not have to have a fancy smoker. You can use your outdoor charcoal grill, convert it into a smoker. A Couple of key tips here to think about is brisket does best with indirect heat. So you're putting your brisket right on top of this little pan of water where you're getting nice moisture. Over there on that indirect side is where your coals are bur bur have burnt down and that's gonna give you the heat source and then you can take some of these delicious wood chips. You can use hickory, mesquite, pecan, and you put those on top of your flavor. coals. <gasps> That'll start smoking. Close that lid. 200 to 250 degrees is the magical temperature for smoking your brisket. For how long? A pound of, per 
pound, about an hour per pound. That's a good rule of thumb. And as you said, if you don't want to be out there tending to it all day, you've got better things to do. What you can do is let that go for a couple of hours on your grill, and then you can bring it, put it in foil like we've got there, yeah. wrap it up in foil, and put it in the oven at about 250 to 300, and let it finish off. You'll still get, You'll the, still smoky, get the smoky flavor. Smoky right. flavor. Just speed up the yeah, process. Yeah, it'll still be so tender. And just to point out, the foil goes after it's been on the grill. It would just be flat on the grill. That's like right. That. We put our beef cut right onto the grill, and then we'd put that foil on when we're getting ready to put it in the oven. Okay. You've been dicing up some of our smoked, delicious brisket. You see those burnt ends on there. We've got this fun recipe from 18th and Vine, one of our favorite restaurants. What we're going to do is you're chopping it up there, about mm -hmm. one inch cubes. Could not be any easier, you guys. We're just putting on some barbecue sauce, honey, tangy barbecue sauce. You can pick up anything you like. Stir that up real good, and then we're going to put that back in the oven for about 30 minutes just to get that nice ooey gooey, oh, okay. coating, ooey caramelized coat. And then we're going to make our nice little burnt and brisket beef sandwich. So could not get it easier. I've, I've sliced this up here like we've got family style. You can do those brisket. As I said, they feed a crowd. So mm -hmm. that's the wonderful thing about it. Put it on a, on this uh, burnt in burger and, or sandwich and you got a hearty, protein rich, delicious, satisfying meal. And this is going to be perfect because you can have it all laid out on a table like this. If somebody wants the onions, if they want the pickles, if they don't, everybody can do it up just like they want. Right? Build it yourself. You can actually freeze this. I know a lot of us, I'm, do, I'm experiencing this graduation oh. weekend's coming up. We're going to do this family style leftover the next day we'll do those burnt end sandwiches and so, feed, so like I said it definitely feeds a crowd let's say I used only half of this and this is the cooked one how do I freeze this so you are to double wrap that really nice with your foil and you can stick it back into the freezer you can put it in an airtight bag if you want and and freeze it in there and then then bring it back out and oven heat it back up when you're ready to enjoy it and it tastes delicious and of course mm -hmm. if you need any other tips just be loving Texans I'm telling you we've got recipes we've got how to different grilling methods all different all things beef you need to go to visit BeefLovingTexans.com. Juicy, juicy, and juicy again. Chaylene, thank you very thank much. You so More information, much. go to our website, SALive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. So good to see you. Yeah, it's great to be here. Still ahead on SA Live, you can win an incredible prize package to a Texas theme park, see what's up for grabs, and how you can enter to win. And next, all this wet weather can do serious damage to your home. The signs of trouble you need to know and the local company that can help. That's straight ahead on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, we have been getting a whole bunch of rain over the past couple of months, past couple of days. So what's that mean for your home's foundation? Well, Jade Owens, who is the Director of Operations with Baird Foundation, is here to tell us how we can permanently protect our homes. First of all, welcome. Thanks for having me. Okay, so the lawns, the gardens are loving this. Foundations, yes. eh, not, so, not so much, right? What's, right. It, what's it do to foundations? Yeah, so there's two things that happen when we get these heavy rains. Um, the first, if you don't have proper drainage around your home, it's going to wash out the soil and create voids underneath your home. Um, the second that it can do is it can mask the root issue, because as the soil gets moist, it expands like a sponge. And so it's going to lift your home. So those signs and symptoms you were seeing a foundation repair, like a door that's not closing or cracks in your wall, they might close up during these heavy rain periods um, because your house has lifted. Um, but it's the root problem is still there. Okay, I, I, I used to have, to have a house like that and I could always tell what season it was because exactly. the door would stick or not stick. Because <laughs> right. I mean, you know, we limestone around here, but it's that clay that holds it. So then what? can you do to fix that? Yes, um, so you know, foundation repair is something that um, can fix that. And there are uh, misconceptions that um, the problem will you know, go away in these moisture times, but it doesn't go away. Um, and there are permanent solutions to actually fix these problems so that regardless of if we're in those you know, dry droughts or you know, wet springs, um, your house will stay stable. So we're looking at the animation right now. You yep. take these steel posts and put that all the way down to the rock? Yes, yeah, so we use hydraulic equipment to actually push it to load bearing strata. Um, and it is all steel, um, it is galvanized steel, and so it's not going to be affected by the moisture. Um, it's going to stay put, and um, those you know piers that we just saw there are backed by a lifetime warranty. And this is permanent? Yes, no yeah. more. So 
So yeah, you don't have to get Sticking it fixed you know, twice, three times, four times, which is what sometimes we hear customers mm -hmm. going through. Um, if you actually research the right solution, um, this can be a permanent fix. Okay, so no longer is your house sitting on the soil anymore, but you're sitting, like you said, on, on, bedrock. on the bedrock. You can yep. dig all the soil out and you'd still have, everything would be perfect right there. Right. So short, well, first of all, what should folks look for if, and their biggest tip as far as foundation repair? Yeah, so the first is um, the sooner you fix it, the better. Uh, just like if you think about going to your doctor's appointments, like you don't wanna push that off because your problems aren't gonna go away. They're just gonna get worse. <laughs> um, and then the second is to do your research. So like I said, um, there are permanent fixes for it. Um, so once you do decide to, you know, call the company or get the repair done, um, make sure that you've done the research and you know what is actually being put in the soil and the ground because there are a lot of options. And homeowners go out there and go, I don't know, but you give free inspections, right? Yes, yeah, free inspections. And so we'll send out a system design specialist that will diagnose the problem and tell you, you know, exactly what that problem is, exactly how to fix it and exactly how much it will cost. Okay, if you would like more information, give them a call 210-53-BEAR today to schedule your free inspection. Ask about the financing options and same day savings discounts. Baird Foundation Repair is offering an additional $50 off. You mentioned SA Live. Again, that number is 210-532-2473. And for more information, visit the website gobaird.com. Discounts for military too, right? Yes, yeah, discounts all around, so give us a call. <laughs> okay, can't beat that discount. Give them a call today. Jake, thank you very much. All Thanks right, next time. on SA Live, wondering how to say congratulations to the super seniors in your life from fun stuff to essentials where you can find these great gift ideas. You don't want to miss this. Plus, here's a look at this week on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, you don't want to shake off graduation. Does that make sense as a Taylor Swift line? <laughs> Help me out here, folks. <laughs> anyway, after years of hard work, high school and college graduates deserve one heck of a gift. No, not Taylor Swift tickets. And there's a local shop in town that has just what you're looking for. And Christina Samano, who's the assistant manager for Feliz yes. Modern. Welcome. Good thank to you, see you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Are you a Taylor Swift fan? I am, yes. Did yeah. I get the lines right? Yes, you did. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> All right. Feliz Modern, one of those places where we were talking about it, you have to do about three laps in the store. Yes, absolutely. So you see everything because you're going to mm -hmm. go, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. So what do you have for the grads? So we have some cards here. That's the first First thing to start off with, with some nice uh, gift bags. And then we also, you know, for high schoolers. So if you want to go for the high schoolers, we have some of the like backpack, we have little just like things to self care, mm -hmm. take care of yourself. Um, those that are going to college to, you know, major in science, we have the future scientist, just to add to that little add to the gift. So it's you know, blank, you can write something in oh. it, but they can write notes in it as well, or just like doodle during class. <laughs> oh, I like that. No, pay attention during class. That's what you're supposed to <laughs> yeah, do, kids. that's what you're supposed to do. By the way, do the Taylor Swift cards have like lines in them or something, or, or messages from Taylor Swift? No, you can, you know, you can do those yourself. Make up, <laughs> make up your own lyrics, but it is blank inside. So we do have the perfect cards, but Taylor's one of them, definitely, is always out. All always right, out. so for the, the high school grad, now for the college grad, mm -hmm. uh, because now you're, you're done, you're going off yeah. into the cold, cruel world, yeah. what are some of the things you have there? So. Biggest thing, you're always going to need a toolkit. Okay. You always need it, never know you need it, but you do. And we have a toolkit in the store, so that one is super useful, whether you're going into college or going leaving college. And then as you're leaving, you know, leaving college, you don't want to eat ramen every day. And just, you need to learn how to cook. So we have some cookbooks in the store. That's Just fantastic. some useful things. It's actually useful. <laughs> you know, we were just talking about back to that, that toolkit. Yeah, yeah you, those are things you definitely, definitely need. need. All to hang that you don't think about. Yeah, to hang up anything, to measure things. You don't know how long your curtains need to be, you know, how big the windows are, and that measuring tape is in there. To tighten up the furniture and, and yep. this and that. So, and what are some of these? So we have some goodies for, you know, if you're going to have a grad school party. Um, we have the tonics. These are a local maker, so mm -hmm. Bear Tonics. We have those in the store. We have four flavors. And this, this one is like the, is the 
most popular, I would say, that one in the cactus. What would you mix that with? A little bit of bourbon or something? Yes. Oh. Yeah, a little bit of whiskey, bourbon. Also, if you're if you want a mocktail, just mm -hmm. doing it with some Topo Chico. Oh. Yeah. It's that really fantastic. good, really good with Topo Chico. Okay, and you've got a, a market coming up this weekend, right? Yes, we have the Pedro Pascal market, super popular. Everybody loves him. So it's May twentieth from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And it's over at the location right there on Almost Drive. Yes, yeah. That's your, your the location started, and then you also have one at the Pearl too, right? Yes, we also have one at the Pearl, and that one you do have to walk as just as many times around. <laughs> Which I, so, I do all the time, because yeah. you, always, you always find that perfect little something, be it for the grads, you know, when it's around Christmas time, something like that, yeah. the perfect little stocking stuffer. Absolutely. The nice thing about the Almost Drive location, though, is you don't have everything else around there, so yes. great parking as well, right? Yes, great parking. People love to just come up to the front. The vendors will be up front, but mm -hmm. you can, there's parking on the side, there's parking across the street just walk across the street it's pretty pretty accessible okay mm -hmm. don't forget and a lot of the items they have there are from local folks so it's yes. shopping local and buying Shop local and supporting local absolutely all right well thank you very much don't forget about to check out the Feliz Modern next market Pedro Pascal theme market this Saturday the 20th and it's over there at the almost location starts at 10 o'clock in the morning if you'd like more information go to salive.com click on the as seen on sa live tab and next on sa live you and your family can win an incredible summer getaway see what's all included and how you can enter to win it could be a summer you will never forget don't go anywhere and don't forget about our deal of the day free gym membership see if you qualify to win it All right, it is time for our deal of the day. Now through August 31st, teens between the ages of 14 and 19 can work out for free all summer long at Planet Fitness. You just need to register on their website, and download the app, and you can use the free digital club pass through the app all summer long. Plus, they're giving away $200,000 to high schools and students. Teens who register can help win a grant for their school and participate in a video contest for a chance to win a scholarship. Wow, yeah, don't wait, go and sign up today. All right, welcome back to SA Live, and summer, of course, is almost here, and we know where you can find new attractions on a fun day trip or even an extended family vacation. And it is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Texas. If you're familiar with it, I think from that wide shot, you know exactly what we're talking about. It is Moody Gardens and Communications Coordinator. Maddie Collins is here to tell us what is new. Welcome, so good to yes, see you. Yes, thank you for having me. So boy, things are just getting ready to get going there, right? They right. are. If nobody's been to Moody Gardens before, tell us all about it. Yes, so Moody Gardens is located on Galveston Island, so it's just a quick drive away. And we have officially kicked off the summer season. So if you're looking for a fun staycation close to home, Moody Gardens is your place to be this summer. So we have our summer attractions officially open. We have our water park, Palm Beach, so you can hang out on the Lazy River, enjoy the wave pool. And we also have beats on the beach every Saturday night at Moody Gardens. So we're bringing DJs and live bands out to the white sand. And then you can also end the night with free fireworks. We have free fireworks going on every Saturday night. So lots of fun to be had for the whole family. I'm not, not ignoring you. I'm paying attention to what's going on. Okay, this is fascinating. And then yes. you, got, you said the different pyramids there have different yes, kind of the different they do. attractions. Yes, so we have an aquarium pyramid, a rainforest pyramid, discovery museum, and we always have fun um, alternating attractions going on. So right now you saw Dinos Alive, and we have our Colonel Padua boat. So fun for all ages. And you said that it's on Galveston Island, yes. so about how far, if you're driving from San Antonio to Galveston Island, how long? About three and a half hours. So it's just a quick drive. It's almost straight all the way there, so you can have a fun little road trip down to the island. Okay, maybe a little far if you're going to go there and try and come back in one day, but yes, you got a hotel, right? we do. We have a beautiful hotel on property. You can come and hang out. You can walk to all of the attractions. We have a beautiful spa. We have a pool with a swim-up bar, so lots of activities for the kids and adults. And like you said, kids and adults all ages from little ones yes. and something for the teens yeah. and obviously the grown-ups as well, right? Yes, absolutely. What about, pack if somebody wanted to stay maybe a little bit longer, do you have packages? We do. We have um, hotel packages going on all summer long so you can cater for what you're wanting to do, what attractions, maybe wanting to hit the spa. So we have great packages going on all summer long. I know a lot of people's ears, a lot of ladies go to spa. spa. Yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah. go to Moody. Spa? Yeah. <laughs> if you play golf, I'll go to the spa. Yes, so, yes. Uh, what would be the one thing you're looking forward to the most? 
closed? I'm looking forward to some of our summer events. So we have events going on all season long. We have our second annual air car and boat show. So we'll have dozens of um, cars and boats and a few air shows going on. And there's a hotel package with that one also. And then we are ending the summer season with the Galveston Island Wine Festival. Ah. So if you're a foodie or if you love wine, you can make it a couple's retreat, a girl's weekend getaway. So we have something going on for everyone this summer. And, and also the bike ride? We do, of? yes. We also have an island bike ride out event. So you can bring your bike bike out. We have an um, a island ride out going on. So we're starting at Moody Gardens. You're going to travel all around Galveston Island late in the evening. And we're ending with a party at Palm Beach and free fireworks. And a giveaway too, right? Yes, we have a giveaway going on. So we're giving away a grand prize, which features uh, four tickets to our attractions, a hotel night stay, a round of golf, and a gas card to help you get to the island. Wow, can't beat that. Go to SFAB.com to enter to win a family four-pack of tickets or the grand prize giveaways, including, like she said, a hotel stay at Moody Gardens and that gas card. And to book your stay or for more information, call 409-744-4673 or visit the website moodygardens.org. Maddie, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. All right, next on SA Live, you can help someone keep their freedom by keeping their mobility. The donations one group is looking for and how you can help. Keep it here. They improve the quality of life for people living with disabilities and illness by getting them medical equipment and other assistive technology. And now Project MEND is celebrating its 30th anniversary. And we're out here at their location on Wurzbach Road with CEO Kathy Valdez. So good to be here. I, this is a fascinating place. Tell folks about Project MEND. What exactly do you do? Sure, we do something really simple. We take in donations of medical equipment, items that are set for your mobility, things like wheelchairs, um, scooters of all kinds, walkers, crutches, canes, etc. Things that, that are used for your mobility. We take them into our warehouse, we sanitize them, refurbish them, repair them if they need to be repaired, and then we get them out to people that need it. And things as complicated as motorized wheelchairs that can do just about everything to, like you said, commodes, bedside commodes, crutches, things like that. Correct, that's correct, absolutely. How, how do you go about doing this? I mean, because these things cost new thousands and thousands of dollars or can, right? Absolutely, yes they can. So it's really, really simple because we are licensed by the state health department to do exactly what we do to sanitize specifically, repair specifically, and keep things out of landfills. So when things come in, we've got technicians on site that are able to not only sanitize and disinfect that equipment, and we've also got the, the, the uh, machinery that's able to help us to do that as well. Uh, but we've got the individuals that are able to do that and help us do, uh, do those things to put them into the into the inventory, then get those things distributed out to people that need them the most. So who qualifies for this? Anybody that needs our help qualifies for our service. No matter what, there's no, I mean, just come in here and say, I need this. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, years ago, maybe there was an income uh, uh, qualification that we could have maybe taken a, taken a look at, but we don't do that anymore because people just need our help. So if you need help, you need to come out and start with Project MEND. Okay, and, but to make this work, you need donations. How do people donate? Absolutely. People can donate online. They can uh, come here and donate their equipment. Uh, we, there is a list of those most um, needed equipment items on our website as well. Uh, so take a look at that. You can donate online by also filling out a form uh, online that says specifically what you might have for us to come and pick up. Uh, and of course, we always need monetary donations. Okay, because you need parts, you need absolutely the, and also you service things once you give it out too. So I mean, there's gas to and from That's which correct. you have for operating costs. But once you give something to someone, then you take care of it for the rest of its its usable life. That's correct. Absolutely, we will repair that item as long as you've got it. Uh, that gives us the opportunity to determine whether or not we need to bring that back into our warehouse and maybe exchange it for something new. What's the reaction that you get from people when, you know, they may get something that is literally changing their lives? Oh my gosh. So we're very fortunate because we get to see that impact every day. Uh, when you see somebody walk into the door um, and, and you, then you realize that you're about to give them something to really change their life, get them out of their house, get them to social events, get them to their doctor's appointments, etc. And just to thank you. On their, on their face, you know, and the things that they tell you after they come back and say, oh my God, I was able to do this or do that or see this person or whatever, it, it's, it's the reason we do what we do. 
fantastic. Well, Project Man thanks you for keeping up their wheels in motion, and you can give them a call at 210-223-6363 or stop by the location at 5015 Wurzbach Road. They're open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Of course, they love helping out everybody and especially veterans. Plus, they supply a lot of the wheelchairs to veterans when they go on honor flights to Washington, D.C. So great organization and donate if you have something. They'll be happy to take it. Tomorrow on SA Live, people are going to be celebrating graduations all over the city during the next couple of weeks. And we have one local business that kicks the party up a notch or two. Plus, they're serving up pizza with a side of originality. We check out Pothole Pizza at Matenga's tomorrow, 1 p.m. on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell. One of the ultimate questions when it comes to barbecue, ribs or brisket? Definitely ribs, as long as it's cooked to the point where the meat falls off the bone. Yes, Victor. Oh, brisket, so good, Linda. All right, we're tied. Always ribs, my son makes the best. Send some over, Sandra. We'll, uh, we'll vouch for him some. And ribs, my favorite, says Paul. Although, is there any really one better than the other? It's all fantastic. So, and again, don't forget, tomorrow is National Barbecue Day, and we had a good and two-room smokehouse on the show today. A whole lot more coming up tomorrow, including Pothole Pizza. We'll find out what that is.